In this video, we're going to look at how you can improve your family budgeting skills. And we are going to look at what to consider. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to step back to see the big picture. Hello, my name is Vadim Michalenko from HowToAnalyzeData.net. So as you can see on the screen, there are four different considerations that I'd like you to do before we start budgeting. If we look at the simple budget, it seems very obvious and very simple. It's just the math is very straightforward behind this. You have a salary on the top, uh, and that consists of your income part, uh, assuming that you are earning a $60,000 per year, and you'll be able to adjust based on your needs. And then we see a series of typical expenses, right? We have two columns, column for January, which is the plan, and then we have column D for actuals, where we track actuals. What we see is that the differences are substantial sometimes, sometimes not. Um, the difference is related to the fact that you may or may not be earning uh, the same amount of money. If you're salary, then you probably are. If you are getting paid hourly, then uh, it may differ months to months what you've earned. right? But those are not the most important uh, considerations when you do budgeting. Budgeting, as we know, is something um, that uh, helps you to improve your financial situation, right? And in order to do that, budget should fit your long-term goals. And what it means is that important to set all your goals first, right? And we'll have a separate video on this uh, where we'll talk about how to set goals, what kind of goals. And uh, just to give you an example, since we're talking about this, the goals may be wedding, uh, for your child, might be sending your kid to college, might be buying a car, might be buying a house, might be improving your financial conditions, or maybe just saving for the rainy day fund um, or account, right? Those might be the typical goals. And we'll talk more in another video. So please take a look and uh, review them um, um, and uh, see, uh, see a different video. Um, number two, what I'd like to talk about uh, budget is a decision-making process. What does it mean, decision-making process? You can't project. Realistically, let's look at this. Right? This is very simplistic, but life is not simple. Things happen, and they don't happen on the calendar projected basis. Plus, there are things that we cannot predict. Um, you can get fired at any moment, right? Um, you can uh, company can go out of business financial conditions could deteriorate on the markets and if you depend on working in the industry where uh, things are dependent um, upon those things uh, which probably all of us are right realistically looking then um, there are some things that we cannot control and uh, these things um, are really outside of anything that we could do about this and budget is a reflection of that right so it's good to set the guidelines that's why we do planning uh, but it's more of the set of rules right and what we're saying when we talk about budgeting it's a decision making process and what does this mean decision making process it means that you have a certain goals in mind and when you're trying to make a decision whether to buy something or not to buy something online or in the store if you don't have a goals and you say, yeah, I'll just go and do it. Uh, it seems expensive, but I'll be able to pay for it. But if you know that you're saving for a house or if you need to uh, send your child to a kid or you're taking care of the parent and you know that there are certain limitations of what you can do and what you cannot do, then you certainly have those rules. And that's what budgeting is all about, right? It's also about documenting everything. It's um, in, I'm not saying about every little cent or penny, but it's understanding your expenses and where your money go. If you look here uh, for January budget, you have entertainment uh, planned $400, but in reality you spent $700. So maybe you went to a movie a couple times more, maybe you just uh, bought a new uh, set of music or whatever you did, right? Uh, but that's a substantial, almost twice as much difference. Uh, and, and that's an entertainment budget. Sometimes food might be more expensive. And I mean, we all can lose some weight, uh, but it's good to stick to a budget. So it's not about losing weight necessarily. It's more about planning and sticking to a budget. And if you're spending $1,500 on a specific, um, uh, you know, specific month, but you think you are spending $1,250, I think maybe you should adjust that uh, and, and maybe that's your goal, right? Spending um, 
$1,500, uh, and then you plan based on this number. So it's, it's actually, that's what it really means. If you look here, documenting everything, it's, it's looking at the real picture, uh, looking at the actuals and understanding at least the big categories, right? You, you can say electrical, yeah, it's nice, but it's only like, uh, what, 5% uh, of the budget. But if you make a mistakes in one of these categories, that's substantial, right? Or you double your entertainment budget, that's substantial. So looking at the big things and taking care of the big things first, especially in the expense category where we can control, sometimes we can or cannot control income. Uh, and that's another uh, area where we will look at Maybe you can increase your salary, right? Maybe you can earn more money um, so you can save more uh, and that, or meet your financial goals faster. Those are the key things to consider. And the last thing I'd like to uh, share here with you, it's a collaboration, right? A lot of times budgeting is not just you making decisions. A lot of times um, you are in a relationship and uh, you would like your partner to help make a decision. Uh, and that's where getting to the long-term goals is so important and not just for you uh, on the budget but also uh, together working together as a team setting up joint financial goals is extremely important and budgeting is a good tool for that because like i said there might be deviations from the budget but if you know that both of you are saving for a house your husband is not going to buy a new car potentially or uh, your wife is not going to go and buy additional jewelry uh, if you want to get to the goal faster you certainly could right so nothing would stop you from doing that but i hope you're getting my example if you have joint financial goals and you're on the same page and you know that's where my money go uh, and both of you committed to this exercise then yes that's what you should do you should collaborate you should discuss and you should set a decision making process and, and set a review process Maybe if you overbought something this month, maybe you should return some of this stuff it's, if it's still possible to meet your goal and, and learn from what happened. Thanks for watching and please stay in touch. Please make sure to check out the descriptions in this video and download resources referenced in the description. You can also learn more on the subject, so please make sure to check out the links. Sign up to my email list and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching.